What's up you guys welcome back to my channel today I am going to be showing you all my wash day routine and I'm gonna be using the for you by Tia collection this is my first time using this so I'm also gonna give you guys my honest opinion I mean why not so of course you know that you gotta get in and you gotta let that water soak through those roots so that's what I'm doing here I'm allowing the water to just drench my head go ahead and you know prepare for this a lovely shampoo I'm gonna go in with the clarifying shampoo and y'all I absolutely love this shampoo the lather was giving everything it needs had gave on the first round like I didn't even expect it to do that much seriously the lather. yeah so like I said it did what it needed its head done so I did go in twice but I didn't show you guys I mean cuz why <laughs> But the second time around, I didn't use as much because I realized that the lather was actually pretty dang good the first time. Then I went ahead and I went in with the moisturizing conditioner. And it lives up to its name, honestly. It's a very good moisturizing conditioner. I love the smell of this conditioner. It is probably my favorite product out of the whole collection. Like... It helped loosen my hair and clump my curls like it did it did the thing so after that of course we're gonna shower and then we're gonna get into it all right y'all so honestly I love that shampoo when I went in with it on the first round of me shampooing my hair because if you know you know you always go twice the first wash usually usually breaks down the um, product that you've had in your hair and it doesn't lather as much with I'll say maybe most shampoos girl she lathered with that first shampoo that first round I was like what the lather on the first round it was giving it was giving what it needs to have gave then i went in of course with a second wash and with the second wash i didn't use as much product because i realized how lathery it was with the first round the second round is usually where i get most of my lather with a cleansing shampoo especially and the second round like i said i used a little less product and i still got a really good lather as far as cleansing, um, my hair felt clean. It didn't feel stripped. And I love that for me. Like, I love a cleansing shampoo that does not strip my hair completely. That's just my preference. I still need some hydration, okay? And I don't use that many products, especially with me having my short afro right now. I don't use that many products throughout the week. Like, I hardly even do my hair throughout the week. Maybe once or twice. So... Um, the most that I will do is add an oil so honestly I can't say that it did take away the oily feel it did it did what I need to add okay it did the thing then I went in with the conditioner and y'all I love the smell of the conditioner it does have like a slight perfumey smell but it smells floral it smells very feminine it smells it was giving mamiani to me I was like Tia girl you're making me feel like it's a nice a warm summer day and i'm about to go get dressed and take my kids to their swim lessons and then out for ice cream or something afterwards like i don't know it was just giving that for me and i loved it okay so now we're about to go in with the curl defining gel and I love that it has aloe vera in it. If y'all know me, you know that I'm an aloe I stand for aloe vera. If you got aloe vera in your product, honey, I'm going to try it out. So I want to see how defining this is. Like what type of definition we about to get. As you can tell right now, um, it's not too defined. I mean, duh, we just got out of the shower. What I will say is, I'm not going to hold y'all. For me, I don't use... Shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner. If I have a conditioner that is a good conditioner, I'm going to use that conditioner as my leave-in conditioner. So what I'll do is I will rinse the conditioner out of my hair completely while I'm in the shower. And then I will turn around and add just a little bit, 
maybe about a quarter size maybe a nickel sized worth of product in my hair i mean in my hands and while my hair is dripping wet i will put the conditioner throughout my hair and then i'm getting out of the shower and i'm using that as my leave-in so i have some of the conditioner in my hair right now you can't really tell but i do like i can feel it of course it's not a lot so it's not heavy but it's there Let's see what this defining gel does for me. Okay, I'm excited. I'm going to go ahead and apply my towel. Because if you know, you know. I do my hair on drenched hair. I mean, I do my hair while it's drenched. Y'all, if I feel, if I seem a little off, I'm just hungry. Okay, and we're pregnant, so... I got food warming up in the oven, but we're going to get this done first. So I do have my spray bottle. I'm actually, let me put some warm water in here. This is cold. All right, got us some warm water in our spray bottle. And I'm looking at my mirror. So that's why you guys are positioned this way. But yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go in. Try not to spray the camera. It's still pretty wet, so I don't have to go in with too much. Now, let's get into this defining gel. One thing I really love about this cap is you just and ooh. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, she thick. Okay, she not like slimy or snotty. She's just jelly. She too has a slight perfumey smell. Honestly, the shampoo did as well, but it's not overbearing, and that's what I love. So I'm just going to go in and apply the gel. Now I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm gonna go in with my stylist. Okay. Because my hair is thick and we can't play with it. So let's see. Let's add some more water. say that I'm super impressed right now <laughs> we're not gonna say that per my usual method of what I just did I don't know what you call the hand sponge in it because I don't use the tool to sponge I'm not gonna say she's super defined she's giving frizzy she's giving a little frizzy but she is also giving moisturized I really do like the feel of it in my hair, but I don't care for the fact that it's not just styling it the way that I prefer. I want to, y'all, I want to wait and let it dry. But I can already tell that it's not as defined as I want it. Like, if you watched my previous TWA routine wash and go video, when I use that product, 
she was given. Same method. Did nothing different. The only thing I didn't do was use an oil. But that's because I just wanted to use the For You collection so I could see exactly what it does for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, are we mad at it? No. Absolutely not. Because honestly, at this point in my natural health journey, I'm not really like pressed. Like I'm really just enjoying the fact that I don't have to do too much to my hair. I have been sitting with the fact that I want to start like going in and like raking the products through, combing it through, extra defining it. But right now, she's not feeling it. And that's fine. Because per my usual method, like I said, this is all she does. This is all we do. And I don't feel the need to do anything else. What I'm going to do is lay my edges. We're gonna let it dry and we'll come back and see. <laughs> I actually just went in with the curl defining gel, touched on my edges a little bit, and we just gonna wait and see what she dry like. <laughs> I'm laughing because. She's not popping, like this ain't giving my ultimate wash and go. I almost want to go in with the wet line extreme gel on top, honestly. But for the sake of this video and for the sake of me really just getting a feel for this product and seeing like what it can do for me, I'm not going to do it. But I'm not going to tell you she ain't going to do it next time, okay? <laughs> This side though, we're going to go let it air dry some and I might end up diffusing it but right now I'm going to go eat and then we'll be back and we'll see, okay? We back. Honestly, I'm not mad but I'm not happy. Like, no, I'm not mad but I'm not pressed because I'm happy. But... Ciao. It's just not for my texture hair, okay? And that's what I'm going to be content with. As far as just using it alone as a defining jelly, did it work for me? No. Would I definitely use a second styler? Yes. So, uh, maybe if you have looser textured curls, you know, it will work for you. But for me, it's giving, she needs a little some extra. But hands down, absolutely love the shampoo. The conditioner is nice. And the jelly is not bad. It's just not giving me what I needed to give. So I'm definitely going to be trying it out with a second styler. And I will see if the definition comes out a lot better. And I will let y'all know. I will keep y'all updated. But as for right now, that is going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. You already know what to do, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe, like this video, and comment below if you've used these products before, if they work for you. Let me know what type your hair is though, okay? Because I'm good in type four. I say I'm a mix between 4A and 4B, but like I said, the jelly alone didn't work for me. But again, let me know in the comments if you've used it before and if you plan on trying it out. As always, peace, love, and blessings. Break us real fast like a man When I swim down to the deep end